Hello, saints. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. Praise the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Amen. Sometimes we think blessings are um, only monetary, like money and things. But let me tell you something. To be in your right mind is one of the greatest blessings one can have, especially in this hour. To have a portion of your health, let alone to have your health completely. Amen. And I'm going to tell you the most valuable, greatest thing in this world, out of this world, is the truth. And his name is Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen, saints. You better know it. You better know it. Because what you going to offer up after this harpazo happened? What kind of money are you going to offer? You guys ought to go and see that movie, Sunday Rapture. You're not going to be able to write a check big enough. I wouldn't care if you was uh, Billy Gatty. You still not. I don't care if you was Elon Musk. You're not going to be able to write a check that can fix that. No. Once you get left behind, the only way you're going to make it is serious. I'm talking serious torment some people are going to go through and being beheaded. And I don't know how somebody could want to choose that way. And you know what making people choose that? Arrogance and pride and unrepented sin. Why they talking about you, oh, you can't do any good works to make the harpazo. You live like a jackass if you want to and see if you go to a holy God's heaven. No, you're not. No, you're not. You can be acting wild and crazy, sinning all you want to. Uh, the Bible did say, the Lord say, pray that you be counted worthy. What's going to make you worthy? I'll tell you what's going to make you worthy. Living a holy, righteous, and sanctified life. That's what's going to make be cause you to be counted worthy. You all are foolish. When I hear people talk and see, I'm getting so good at it now. Listen, when you meditate in the word, to live by it and to make it tame and restrain your soul, you can hear when people don't know what they're talking about. And if they don't know what they're talking about, then they ain't living what they're trying to talk about. Folks can't fool me no more, mm -mm, you all, because it's not that hard. We're not that deep and we're not that complicated. See, few, few that's why it says few is going. Folks walk around like they so important. Let me tell you what's important is doing what thus saith the almighty holy Yahweh, okay? You so much and much. Let me tell you something. What's important is getting ready to go up. You see that? While folks is jocking for folks' acceptance and the accolades of man and being your pastor's pet and the bishop's Almost said something. Lord have mercy. I'm not going to say it because, see, you guys don't even understand. Just like the word hell. Hell is a place and people use it as a cuss word. But hell is a place that all rebellious souls is going. All those who rejected the free salvation of Jesus Christ, his holy blood and his Holy Spirit and grace. That's what hell is. And unfortunately, they going because they choose to go because I done said it many times. God Almighty said, Yahweh say, I did not make hell for mankind. I made it for the enemy and his fallen angels. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? And folks still going to go. You see that? Because see, the thing is this. The Lord can not make you love him. That wouldn't be love from him because true love will let you choose. That's right. That's why you got folks killing folks because they don't want to be with them no more. They don't love them or they don't value them. Let them hit the door where the good Lord split them. Do you hear me? Why take somebody life and beat up on people and hurt them and do vicious and vile things to people if they don't want to? Let them go. So you think a holy Yahweh going to make you love him and do right by him? He's not. Mm -mm. He says, whosoever is willing and obedient, 
let them come. See, you can be willing all day. Don't mean you're going to do what you will to do. You got to put, the Bible say, I'll show you my works by my faith. Because you can talk about faith all day long. But if you don't put no action with your faith, I'll book it for you. Your faith is dead. And you say, how can faith, I'm going to finish it for you. Faith without works is dead. See how you guys talking about no works? You all are ignorant. You're unlearned. You're arrogant. And you're prideful for nothing. Because you're just as dumb as a, a rock got more intelligence than you all. Because even a rock know how to be a rock. And even rocks know that they were made by God. Trust and believe and know that. Understand that. Humans is the only ones that got the audacity to go against what the creator who put breath in their being. We the only stupid fools out here because the sun know the Lord made it, the moon and the stars, the seas, the oceans, the rivers and the trees and the birds and the bees. They all know their creator. We the ones that's ridiculous, just ri just fools. Yes, but that's okay because I just read before I got on here, those who go after other gods, who believe in other gods and worship other gods pierce themselves through with many sorrows including the god of mammon which ain't nothing but satan the god of this world that's who these pastors is worshiping they worship in hasatan the enemy that's all you all ain't nothing new under the sun see that folks think they so muchy much we getting ready to see the muchy muchies, the ones who knew they were nothing nothings. Okay, we getting ready to see, baby, the ones that disappear. Ain't that something? Ain't ooh wee. I wouldn't wish nobody left behind, and surely not to go to hell's fire. Mm mm. But anyway, you all, there is so much lining up for the B system to take full power very soon. And it is mind blowing. I mean, mind blowing how people don't see how obvious it is. I was just with my two beautiful nieces and I had to break my second day of the fast. And I didn't mind because I couldn't not keep my word to them. I couldn't do it. That's why I'm making up for it today. No water, no food. Uh, I had called their mom and I said, I'm coming to get them. I'll get them right when I'm dropping off Juju to work. There's no way I couldn't. I had to do it. Uh, she said, okay, because you know, I didn't want to call and bother you. I know you wasn't feeling good and stuff and how you said you was just exhausted, Marcia. So I told the girls, auntie not feeling good. And I know when she said that, I know they was just so disheartened and disappointed. And I don't like to do that to children because I went through so much of that as a child. Oh, my Lord, I would never, mm -mm, never. So I've got so much dry skin around my nails. And I don't know why, because I you, it's the weather going back and forth. Yes, it is. Anyway, um, so I went and got my little sweethearts. And it was so funny, you all. It, but let me tell you what was powerful while I'm while I'm going here. I don't know why, but both of them started talking about Jesus. And the one youngest said, we was just riding. And uh, I didn't have the strength to cook or nothing. I had already gone and got some peanut butter and jelly because the one liked strawberry, the other one liked grape like Judah, and the one liked strawberry like me. So I had already had the jelly, but I needed to get some bread and some peanut butter. So the one little girl say, Auntie Marta, how come the trees look dead? And I said, well, my gosh, you don't even have adults seeing how lifeless the trees are. I mean, they look like they standing up dead, like they could fall over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I said, well, baby, the Bible talks about in the last days, 
nature and trees, a lot of things are going to die and not produce fruit anymore. And she said, oh, Auntie Martha, that's horrible. <laughs> I just love her. And then the big sister said, Auntie Marcia, how come the devil bothers people and do evil, bad things? I said, baby, because he the devil. He is the one who created evil and sin and horrible things, baby. That's why. And she said, wow, I don't like the devil, Auntie Marcia. And the little one said, I hate him. <laughs> Love them so much and I said I know it's just it's unreal it's just horrible the devil is the devil and then I knew they was going to end up asking me this and I think we've all wondered this and have even some of us have asked the Lord can't the devil and his fallen angels just repent and do what's right mm -mm. they don't desire to repent you all no so so they said can the devil uh, ask God, say to God, he's sorry. And I said, oh, look at these babies. And I said, well, you all, I don't think he is sorry. He's not sorry. He enjoys and loves being evil and wicked and horrible and lying. He's the devil. He's Satan. And the little one said, that's horrible. <laughs> I said, it's terrible and horrible. And the big one said, wow, he does bad things, Auntie Marsha. I said, yep, he is the one who started it up in heaven. That's why the Lord got his archangel to kick him out of heaven. Yes, indeed. I think it was Michael or Gabriel. I think it was Michael. And he kicked him out of heaven, you all. And do you know he got one third of the Lord's angels to turn to bad angels? And they was like, well, Willie? <laughs> and I said, yes. And he tried to turn them and he did. He turned them against the holy almighty God almighty. And they was like, oh my goodness, Auntie Marsha. I said, yep. And so now they hate us because the Lord loves us. And when we do wrong or sin, we can just ask the heavenly father to forgive us. And he will forgive us, but not the devil. He wants us to do wrong and sin. And I'm telling you, we sat and ate pizza and drank uh, some Sprite soda or whatever it was and some chips. And we was just uh, having a wonderful conversation. And the things those children said, I said, some adults ain't got this, this type of uh, intelligence. Some pastors and apostles and bishops and pastors and preachers don't have the sense that children have. I'm talking highly intelligent to ask such questions. And no wonder Jesus said, I was sitting there just looking at their innocent faces. And the Lord said, you wonder why I love them children? You wonder why they so precious to me? You see that? And I said, Lord, it's, it's no wonder. No wonder you say, unless you come like one of these little ones, you shall not enter into the kingdom of God. Ain't that wow? So anyway, you all, I just had such a marvelous time with them. I told him, I said, okay, you guys, Auntie Marsha already got Play-Doh. I got the little cutout things that we can make little butterfly shapes with and hearts. And I said, you guys want to go get your baby dolls some new clothes? Lord, I ended up doing more than new clothes. I got them a couch, like a real human couch, right? Oh my, I'm going to take a picture of it. Y'all, we had such a blast, such a blast. And then there was this one piece of furniture. It's like a desk. And it come with all the shebang bangs with the little laptop and a fish bowl with water in it and a little fish floating around in it. You all, we had such a ball. I'm telling you, I can't wait to go to heaven and be with the children. I can't wait. 
And it was so funny because the one doll literally looked at like their dad. I mean, it was too hilarious. I mean, bald headed, the color, everything. I said, can you believe that I couldn't believe? We was cracking up. And the one little one, her laugh will bust you up. You will be, oh my goodness. Even Jay Beyond, she was saying, Auntie Marsha, you hear Jay's laugh? She was, I said, I don't know how she laughed. Her laugh, Lord, some people's laugh is so unique and powerful. It's contagious. Let alone it sounding funny. And she laughed with a, I mean, down from her belly. And then the big sister, her laugh is funny too. But the little ones, I don't, it's just so unique. I ain't never heard nobody laugh like that in my life. Anyway, you all, we had a very good time together. Very good time. I'm gonna find a tea set, and that's we gonna have. A, I'm gonna get them some hats or make them some hats, and we gonna dress up really nice and have a tea party. Yes, I love them so much. Oh my, they give me so much joy. Children are the best souls to be around. Yes, and I can't even remember uh, all the questions they asked me and the powerful things they said that blew my mind. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep, it was it was just wonderful. So the next day was Resurrection Day, and I had then bought them some beautiful dresses and shoes and little necklace and earring sets. So they were so excited, and I didn't know what church to go to. Isn't that sad? I did not know. I said, well, now, Lord, I don't want to go where I feel, feel knives going all in my body, my face, my back, the neck. I, I didn't want to be around them type of spirits, you all. You just get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then I would have, I wanted to go where my little new friend goes, and I, I've been visiting her church, but I didn't want my nieces to be looked at like that way, in that way, because of the color of their skin, so they say. I did not want them to feel like that, so I said, I can't take them there, because they look at myself and my son that way. Don't even say hello, good day, sister and brother. Nope. I told my little friend, and I say little because she's so short and just as sweet as can be. Uh, I told her, I said, you know, I've been here about six or seven times, and you know, I can count on one hand how many believers have actually walked up and greeted me and I know she was embarrassed I know and not for herself for them and she said really Marsha I said really it's it's sad you all but you know what it's gonna be all right after a while I mean soon it's gonna be all right so I said well now Lord where can I take them and it'll be all right not that it will, the Holy Spirit will be there, but it'll be all right. Uh, you all, so I thought of two places and the one, so many lust spirits there. I didn't want to go to that one. And then the other one, I said, well, I'll probably be all right there. And I'm sure the children will have a lot of friends they know there. And that's exactly what it ended up being. They were saying, blowing kisses and saying hi to all their friends. So I said, see, Lord, you said the steps of a righteous person is ordered by the Lord. So I felt just fine to be there with the girls. And I took all these beautiful pictures of them. You guys, they looked at like how some of us came up dressing with the full dresses and the beautiful colors and the little shawl sweaters and Oh, you all, I made bows for their hair. I tied ribbon in their hair. It was just lovely. It was just lovely. I love being with them. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So anyway, you all, I wanted to come back on and read something so powerful. The word of the Lord, when it say it is living. And when it's living in the soul, in a spirit, in a heart that reads it, it's a double fold. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So oh, get your Bibles, you all. Let's pray. So Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for your word, for you said it is able to save our souls. Yep, your son may give us a brand new spirit, a brand new opportunity to be, be back in relationship with him and fellowship with you. 
But Lord, if we don't get these souls right, we won't see you. We won't see you because the soul is yet being saved. And many don't like to hear that. But uh, how is it that when we used to be liars and fornicators, robbers and and and, and cheaters and uh, uh, gossipers, well, now that's the soul doing that sinning with the body. Some of us don't do those things anymore. So there is no way if we have encountered the living son of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach is his holy name, that we remain the same. It's impossible. It's impossible. So Lord, I just thank you for your word. It it is it does so much for us. It's it's there's no word. It changes us from the inside out. It renews our mind, the spirit of our mind. Is 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 everything. Jesus is everything. And so Lord, I just pray your saints would be encouraged that their countenance would be enlightened by the spirit of Jesus Christ through your word, just as it's doing for me. I thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Holy Spirit, breathe in us just enough breath to finish across this line into the eternal arms of our Redeemer, the lover of our soul, our Savior, our holy soon coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach. Do that for us, Lord. Do that for us, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, guys, get out your Bibles. I'm telling you, we just, we don't know what is before us when we get caught up to meet the Lord in them clouds. You all, we can't imagine. Do you know the Lord says, eyes have not seen, ears have not <clears throat> heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man, the things that the Lord has planned for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. You all, there is nothing and no one that is worth this. Nothing. I don't think we understand we finna live forever. Some of us will never die physically. That it, oh, Enoch did it. Elijah did it. Isn't that something you all, wow, this is the almighty Yahweh that we're serving. And when I tell you he going to show us how godly proud he is of us, very soon, very soon, yep. And um, I'm just so full of joy and peace no matter what comes my way. I don't care. It's not worth him. It's not worth the Prince of Peace that he is in our life. You know that he said, my peace, I leave with you. He said, my peace, I give to you. My peace, I, le I leave with you. Not as the world giveth, as I giveth. You see that? Because the world will get you something and take it back. Mm -mm, not the Lord. He's not like that. He is so awesome. He is just, he's. He's too good. He's awesome. When that Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good, he is sweeter than the honey and the honey and the honey and the honeycomb. He's just awesome. Mm-hmm. I went and got me some flowers that I don't know how they grew, but guess what? I went and got them. I said, Lord, thank you, Jesus. They was just right outside. I had seen them a few days ago and I and it was raining and I said, well, I'm not going to go get them now. And they was all wet and they drying up now. Oh, I just, do you know the flowers in heaven are alive? Can you imagine them moving and opening up? You all, everything in heaven lives. All of nature. Do you see this? Oh man, it's, it's just something you all, I'm not missing this. No. Nope. And you can tell it's about it's about to happen. Those of us who are in the know, who got the Holy Spirit, who makes us in the know, we know that we know that we know he coming. Yes, Lord, he coming. He had, he's beyond at the door. He's about to snatch us up out of harm's way. There's a lot of harm already here. Imagine when it's functioning at 100% capacity. Oh, yes.
Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. All right, saints, get out your Bible. When you read this, you got to read the word of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach in flesh, the Lord in flesh. You got to read it out loud. Mm-mm-mm-mm. It's just, it's just so glorious. It, it really is. Where do you want me to start, Lord? All right. Watch this. Hold on, y'all. Let me get something for my lips. They not bad, but just give me a second, guys. Oh, Lord. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Okay, guys. Wow. Okay, guys, thank you. All right. Watch this. You guys getting ready to get so encouraged. The Bible is the greatest counselor, comforter, strengthener, helper, peace. That's why Jesus is our all in all. He's our all in all, you are. You all, he is. Okay, here we go. This is where he wants me to start. I know it. Okay. This who Jesus coming for, the overcomers. So you tell me how we can stay in a habitual, purposeful sinning and be an overcomer at the same time. It's impossible, you all. It's impossible. Okay. Verse 5. Grace. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant. And I will not blot out his name. Come on, Holy Spirit. You know you wanted me to start here. Folks say, once saved, always saved. Then why is Jesus blotting folks' name out of the book of life? The Lamb's book of life. If you can be once saved, always saved. Let me read it again. Don't say it. It's okay. Don't even bring that up, Marsha. It's stupid and it's okay. Because I was getting ready to go back to story time. It's not worth it. Verse 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit, capital S, saith unto the churches, not no buildings, bodies of believers, of beloved saints. And verse seven, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, and he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Watch this. You once saved, always saved foolish Christians. I know thy works. Behold, and this is Jesus. All of that I've read is Jesus. You know the one you say, I know I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay, we're going to know who was and who wasn't. Very soon, we're going to know the saints from the ain'ts. Very soon. Verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. 
for thou hast a little strength and has kept my word. How you sinning and keeping God's word at the same time? You must be crazy and has not denied my name. Jesus' name is holy. And he said, be ye holy for I am holy. I'm going to read that again. Verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. That's that harpazo. He coming down here to get his harvest. And no man can shut it. For thou has a, and that means it's going to happen. Why are they saying, oh, maybe the rapture is not going to happen. Like off desert um, farm, farming. I, I just can't believe that brother said that. That hurt my heart. I barely look at him anymore. I love him and I pray for him. Maybe he has repented since then. I don't really know you all. Off desert farming with, um, oh, I know his wife's name is Andrea or Andre, Andrea, Paul, I think. Anyway, it's, this is why you have to be careful who you listen to. You do. You do. And plus, he I know he loved the Lord, but somewhere he's lacking enough of not knowledge of the word, but wisdom and understanding of the word. Amen? It's something. Okay, so he said, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, comma, pause, and no man can shut it. I think that's a semicolon. For thou has a little strength, comma, pause, and has kept my word, comma, pause. Can you lukewarm Christian say you kept his word? You lie, you lie, you never lie so much because you be lying, gossiping, out there cheating, twerking, throwing it back, and drinking, straight getting drunk. You kept his word, huh? Okay. And has not denied my name. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? And anybody following Mr. Swallowed Up, you're denying his name. You know he don't know the real Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. You don't. You know he don't know Yeshua HaMashiach, right? He got the, the religious Jesus. That's what all the religious uh, folks got is the religious Jesus, the Jesus that say that they think uh, once saved, always saved. This elevation gospel, dying, it is not a gospel, this elevation doctrine of demons. Excuse me, another big one, this prosperity doctrine of demons. Mm -hmm. When clearly it's saying, Matthew, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It says, first, seek his righteousness, not money, not prosperity. Verse 9, behold, I will make them, listen to this, wow, behold, I will make them of the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. This is Jesus talking. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, the ones who are the real chosen people. Mm -hmm. The Lord know who they are. And to know that I have loved thee. That, isn't that amazing? It really is. Verse 10, because thou hast kept the words of my patient, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's called the tribulation. That's called the great tribulation. And wonder why he said, watch and pray so you do not enter into temptation. That's what he talking about right there. And if you read your word, you would be able to make the correlation through the Holy Spirit, putting them, putting the scriptures together for you. Because that's what he do. Which shall come upon all the world. See, that's the tribulation. I started again so you can get it. I'm talking to them. See, y'all know my beloved saints, my real rocking on the rock with me, the real McCoys, the overcomers. Y'all know I'm not talking to y'all when I speak like that. I'm cutting those who think they know what they don't know. And I know my beloved brothers and sisters know who I'm talking to. 
Verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, see that's us, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now this is for you muchy muches, you religious folk who go to church every Sunday and lie every day, Monday through Sunday, all through the day, full of jealousy and hatred. So now you tell me when the, when the Lord say how, can say, how can you say you love me and you've never seen me and you hate your brother who you see every day? Y'all is all disqualified right there because you have not shed abroad the love of a love of God shed abroad in your heart. See the enemy mad. See, when I bring messages like this, he really gets angry. But do you think I get scared or nervous? Not at all. Not at all. Because he wants to be able to keep y'all soul because he the one got it. If you lukewarm, Jesus don't have your soul. You say, how could you say that? Well, now you didn't heard me say what he said. For you, for if you are lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. And I will tell you, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Now why I say that. You are none of Christ's. You are of your father, the devil, Satan. And if you had any type of humility in you, you would get the repenting. If you had any ability to be sincere and honest and humble, you would show sure enough get the repenting. Yes, you would. But pride won't let most. It won't let you. Your proud look and your arrogance won't let it be. So you're going to be left behind. And worse, bus hills fire wide open. Oh, yes, many of you, most Ain't but a remnant going. Ain't but a few on the path of righteousness, not the path of sin. That's the path that is broad and wide and many go thereby in it. You guys think you're so muchy much. We getting ready to see pretty, pretty soon. So watch this. <clears throat> he said, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is why Jesus said, this is for you muchy much, you religious folks that don't even know the word to live it. Jesus said, now watch and pray so that you don't enter into temptation. That's what he's talking about right here. Eleven, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast. And you guys talking about he's not coming. There's no such thing as the rapture or the harpazo. Him coming down here after his harvest, his silver and his gold. Now, who are we going to listen to? That's a no-brainer for me. You, you, It's too heavy in me. The word of God, rich. For me to ever listen to somebody that's talking from a forked tongue, talking about they love Jesus and serving the devil at the same time. I don't got time for y'all. None of you, uh, well, you are bastards because you wouldn't, you will not receive the correction and the rebuke of the Lord. But what I was trying to say is you bishops, that's been totally swallowed up. You pastors, you preachers, you teachers, and show enough, not you self-appointed apostles. I don't have time. My Bible tells me my children know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. And this is exactly why you all didn't know the voice of the master and you engaged in this because your bishop told you, your pastor told you to do it, your apostle told you to do it. They are bloody. Got his sheep, uh, 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 how they say, scattered and full of blood. You all should have been had a shut in, a prayer vigil. Should have been did it. Should have shut up in that bad boy for three days straight. You go on vacation for weeks and two weeks at a time. I said it. You all better lead them churches that advise folks to do this. You know you following blind guides, right? My Bible tell me 
They are blind guides leading the blind, and they both fall into a ditch, which, a, which is a pit in hell. And I was so right. I thank the good Lord for big bro, bro, Anthony. I thank the Lord for him when he sent that piece of information out. And I sent it to several pe people. I knew those who had engaged in this had their palms uh, greased. I knew they was paid to do that to God's people. I knew it. Yep. And you say, why would they do that? You beloved saints. Why would? Because they already was in love with money. The G to the O to the V own those C-H-U-R-C-H-E-S's. Yes. He owned them churches. Them 501c3s. Oh, yes. Ain't that something? Wow. Ain't no way I would be in a church of a 501c3, not as a functioning member in the body of Christ, because that's not the body of Christ. That's Beelzebub. Yes, that's Hasatan up in there, baby. Yeah. Let's go on. Behold, this is Yeshua talking, Yeshua. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast to which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So if I'm once saved, always saved, I don't have to worry about anybody taking my crown. You're lying, you're lying, you never lied so much. What do you think these pastors done done? What, they done took their crown and lesson they repent quickly. And there are those of you who have not repented of this diabolical thing that have changed you. Yes, it has. Yes. And once that trumpet blow, you will be completely taken over. And you say, how do you know this? Because it's linked to the one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes. Yes. Transhumanism. That's what you're going to be turned into. Clay and iron. That's it. They don't mix. Ain't that something? It's over for y'all if y'all don't repent. No doubt about it. <clears throat> wow. I'm hoping to talk to my dad one more time. And I got to do it quick. Yep. All right. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And I hear you, Holy Spirit. You remember when I read about 30, 60, and 100 fold? I don't care if you're functioning at 30% in the spirit as long as, I, as long as it's authentic and it's real fruit. And it has remained in you. Ain't that something the wisdom and the revelation the Holy Spirit will give you? Yes. Because 30, 60, and 100 fold is going. As long as you have continued in his word. And ain't no way you are not his disciple continuing in his word. He says, if you are my disciples, if you continue to keep my word and, 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 and do my commandments, obey my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. So I don't know how you can put one saved, always saved, and sending up a storm. I don't, that doesn't even go together. Him 12, and not, look at the number, establishment, establishment. 12 is the, the, the foundation of the apostles. You hear that? And then let me show you how the Holy Spirit gave me this today when I was reading my Psalms. When it says, if the foundations be removed, what can the righteous do? And I say, go home and be with you, Jesus. But see, the foundation is our right to worship and praise and live for Yahweh. They're being removed. They done pass laws. Ain't that something? Yes, Holy Spirit gave me that. Where is it at, Lord? Mm-hmm. 
if the foundations be removed, that's talking about the gospels, his commandments. Yep, I'm not nobody to play with. I, I mean this. I'm walking this out. Now walk it out. Walk it out. Oh, I could not believe that pastor turned that. See, that's why you know it's not the Lord's house. Into a whole nightclub. Now walk it out. He ought to have been telling them to walk out the statues and the laws and the commandments of the almighty living Yahweh. I mean, they was bucking in there like devils. The churches are more than more like the world than the world is the world. Yes, because some people in the world don't carry on like that. Mm -mm. Ain't that something unbelievable? Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it's in here. Psalms 11, in the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Because that's what we want. That's what we want to do. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. And oh boy, did they bend their bow. Did they not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. Mm -hmm. If the verse three, one for the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that's who the Bible is funded, founded on. It's all about them. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? We can't be here no more. And that's why I said, go home to be with you, Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of man. And do you know the Bible says, I, the Lord, I know how to deliver the righteous from the wicked. Saints, don't be afraid. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The devil better be afraid of the spirit of Yeshua in us. We're not supposed to fear evil, darkness, anything of the enemy. No, 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 no. Matter of fact, thank you, Holy Spirit. You is so awesome. When the demons, when he was casting out them legion of demons, you know the demons spoke to Jesus and said, have you come to torment us before our time? Who running this? Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yahweh's holy beloved son. He running this. And if, and if we are in him and he is in us and his word dwell in us, y'all, we shouldn't be fearing no flesh and blood, no demonic spirits, no fallen angels, no dark forces. You know he mad, right? Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. The greater one lives on the inside of us. It says the Lord tries or tests the righteous. We just been being tried and going through tests, you all to prove our love by way of our obeying the Lord for him. That what it is. Yeah. But the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Ain't that something? And there ain't nothing wicked or more wicked than the person claiming the holy name of the Lord's son and you full of hell. You all are the wicked. Yes, you are. Why, why did he say you wicked and lazy servant? Because y'all didn't do no work. You didn't work on that nasty, wretched soul and you did not win a soul for him. And if you did, 
it wasn't through the spirit of Jesus Christ because they twice the son of hell. You know, I know that word. You know, I know it says you turn him in twice the son of hell. It's unreal. He, he said, upon the wicked, it shall rain snares, comma, pause, fire and brimstone, comma, pause, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my Yahweh, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my Yah, and the name of the city of my Yah, which is the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from Yahweh. And I will write upon him my new name. My goodness, that's the tattoo you ought to want to get. That's sad. I couldn't believe it. Somebody told me that they were going to go and get a tattoo. And I said, this, this is unbelievable. This is, you all, so many people are walking in darkness and thinking at the same time they walking in the light of the world, which is Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh-uh. My Bible tell me darkness and light can't dwell in the same place. You're either walking in the light or you running in darkness with the devil. You can't do it. You can't do both. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, capital S, saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the decedent, write, these things saith the amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. That Jesus, that's Yeshua, he said, I know your works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I told you there's three communities. There's the hot, on fire for the Lord. The lukewarm, most of you are. And then the cold, they're the unsaved. They are the hearts of stone that we should be praying for. Beloved saints, and I know you are. Okay. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would, I, I would that thou would be cold or hot. Wonder why he didn't say lukewarm. It's going to be easier for those who have never claimed Jesus with stony hearts than those who have played church. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. He got more respect for the cold because they don't play with him. Let's wait in the water. Let's give pause to this and say, la. you ought to chew this up and then swallow it and bring it back up. That's what say, la is. It means to truly meditate on a thing, to think of the, the, the holy things of God, which is his word. Here you go. Here you go, as my little baby was saying. That's okay. 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither, neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. So you okay being lukewarm? You don't fear the Lord. You don't fear him. You don't know him. Because to know him is to fear him. And to love him is to obey him. Come on, Holy Spirit. Don't play with me. And you guys be up in my face thinking I don't see y'all. I ain't got the heaven to let you in or hell to put you in. That's not my business. But if you come by here, which is let's, let's deal with it, you better deal with it. Because he just going to play what I, what I did. 
And you got a whole pastor and he not teaching and preaching like this, which is the truth. So proud to say, my apostle, the apostle said, you better know what thus saith the Lord. Because you're going to be left here. You're going to you gonna be, ooh, the enemy is so mad at this. You're going to be left behind right here with them. Ain't that something? They're blind guides. Their gods are their bellies. Dumb dogs with no bark. Clouds with no water. That's what you got yourself. When you ought to have the Lord and he ought to have you. 17. Because thou saith, I am rich. And I can I can name at least five people think they so much because they got money. You know what y'all going to do with that silver and that gold and even the money in the coins? They not going to be of any, any value. Mm-mm. They're not going to be of any value. The Bible say they're going to cast their silver and gold into the streets. Mm -mm. You all better hurry up and get the repenting. He said, I will spew you. That means to vomit. Because thou saith, I am rich and increase with goods. I know so many people who worship their looks, their cars, the jobs they got, their promotions. What's that going to do for you in the day that trumpet blow? You're going to be too heavy, baby. With pride and arrogance, even a proud look. Always bragging about your money. Wow, you know y'all don't know the gospel. Don't know nothing about it. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increase with goods. I have need of nothing. You know what you're going to need? Another chance and it's going to be too late unless you are willing to be tortured and your head cut off. What you're going to need is courage and boldness like never before. If you don't repent right now. If you don't get the fear of the Holy Almighty Yahweh, that's what you're going to need. Stupid. Thank you so smart and you so muchy much. I said it. That's right. And I just love the way the Holy Spirit has used me. He said he'll use the foolish to confound the wise. I'm sure scholastically you guys can pass me by light years. But when it comes to the intelligence of Yahweh and Yeshua HaMashiach, you can't even, don't even stand next to me. I said it. Because I fear the Lord. And I done exactly what he commanded me to do. Lay aside the sins and the weights that were so easily beset me. Because I have the fear of God. You ought to try that suit on, that robe of righteousness, because you ain't got one unless you repent. Yeah. I don't be on my phone. It don't even ring. There ain't nothing to talk about in this place. No way. Ain't no demons being cast out, because how you going to cast out a legion and you got a legion of your own, especially if you packing this baby you getting ready to be a host for allegiant. Play with me. If ever you all at ought to come and gather God's people that have been changed. Oh, they have and they are yet changing. And cry out to be forgiven, to repent and to be washed in the blood of the lamb anew. It is right now. You got about six, five days to do it. And I wouldn't care if it didn't happen on the 8th. You got 40 days out. But if it do, y'all are in big trouble. You're not even going to have the wherewithal. 
you're going to be taken over. That's what it was designed to do. It was never for you know what purpose is. Because I can't say it. It's a sad thing when you ignore the true Holy Ghost and his beloved saints who are really his prophets, his mouthpiece, his oracles. It's a sad day y'all done that to us. Yes. Talking about you being called to preach. What you preaching? Lust and jealousy? Covetedness? Because that's what you giving those you lay your hands on. You are so foolish. Y'all are a bunch of monkeys and clowns. That's what you are. You're in a circus. Y'all going to be praying so hard when we leave. Good. Hope you repent and get ready to die in the most horrendous way. But guess what? I'd rather see the gates and be open for me with a head missing. Then the bus hell open with our whole body. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because thou saith I am rich and increase with goods, I have no need of nothing. And knoweth not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked that's what you lukewarm are yes 18 666 if you don't repent i counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white remnant that's that that's that robe of righteousness that earns us that crown. Once saved, always saved, never. That's the devil talking through you. That thou mayest be clothed. That the, that the, let me get it right. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Because when you go up, you ain't going to never feel so more naked in your life. It's going to be worse than that fornication you're doing right now with that man that is not your husband, with that woman that is not your wife. You think you naked now, you get left behind. You guys ought to share this video with someone you know that is stooped down, pussing with divers lusts and the spirit of fornication. I had it and I chose to hurl up and get right. You understand? Oh yes. Look at that, that thou and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eye slave, salve, that thou mightest see. Y'all are blind. You can't even see you are fornicating. And you're doing it. How can't you can't see it when you're doing it? Gossipers full of jealousy and hatred. And you think you have the love of God shed abroad in your heart when I know you hate me. I know you jealous of me. And for what? Most of you look better than me. But see, that ain't what it is, baby. I got the real Christ and you know I do. You know I don't care that none of you are my friends. What, what kind of friends like that do I need? I could care less you don't approve of me. You think I care about what y'all approve? I'm approved from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And the nanosecond is going to be quicker than the second that I disappear. You going to know. Y'all all, all going to call my phone. Every last one of you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're going to do it in secret. But the Lord going to see it. He already know you're going to do it. And get ready to hear my answer machine. Hello.
Thanks for calling. I'm sorry you won't be able to reach me. I am in home at glory. Hello, thanks so much for calling. I'm sorry you won't be able to reach me. I'm at home in glory. Yeah, I'm about to change it in a few days. Yes, indeed. My Bible says I can have this confidence. Y'all don't know what I pray every day. You don't know how I'm living, but you see the evidence of my fruit and the light of his countenance upon my face. I know you do because you can't even look at me. And most of you have put your mouth on me so bad. Yes, he done showed me. I done heard the words. And do you think I care? As long as I hear these words. Let me get close and personal. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into my rest. You think I care about what your words are? Not a little. Go tell that. Send this video off because I know y'all do. I know you do. But what you should do is humble yourself while there is yet a vapor of time, puffs of smoke. And God knows I forgive you. I love you, but I don't like you and I show sure don't trust you. He didn't never say I have to like you folks. You hypocrites, you snakes and dogs and swine. As many, here you, he go, he go. 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore. That means be quick about it and repent. Once saved, always saved. We don't never have to repent of our sins daily. Throughout the day, we can have a wrong attitude, wrong thoughts. Excuse me. 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any person hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to them and will sup with them and he with me. You see that? So you let your pride hold you in the bowels of hell if you choose to. Go ahead. That's got nothing to do with me. There is no blood on my hands. And beloved saints, I'm asking you, you guys, I'm pleading with you. Please share this video. I'm begging all of you. This can make somebody get the fear of God quickly. Please, if you've never shared a video, share this one. And I don't care who is a prodigal son or daughter. Don't listen to Hasatan. Don't listen to Satan. I don't care if you're smoking marijuana right now. I don't care if you're sleeping next to a woman you're not married to, a man you're not married to. Humble yourself right now and call on the Lord. Forgive all those who have hurt you. I don't care if it's your mama and your daddy, your sisters and your brothers. Forgive them and forgive yourself. Do you know when we forgive others, God will forgive us? That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't stay in the devil's uh, camp. Don't do it. This is the time for us to sincerely and humbly and honestly come before the Lord. There's nothing you've done that he won't still love you and forgive you and wash you and cleanse you. Nothing. The only sin you can't ask for forgiveness for is, is taking your own life. How can you? You're dead and in hell already. And then to play with the spirit of the Ruch HaKadosh, the spirit of Yahweh. Amen. I'll be back, you all. Someone's blowing up my phone. Must be something. I love you guys. Let's deal with ourselves. Amen.